it's just great to keep the classics going and I personally love holding the physical records in my hand and getting to read all the booklets inside of them and that's just something you don't get with streaming nowadays. Records, vinyls, LPs, wax, or licorice pizza. No matter how you say it, the needle drops today at this cool Southern California adventure. Hi guys, we're in San Clemente, California at San Clemente High School where the music department is hosting a record show. Let's go check it out. Okay, so what is a record show? For those of us that have never been, it's basically a venue, in this case the school's multi-purpose room, that brings together many vendors under one roof. Many of these vendors own their own brick and mortar stores but choose to sign up for this event on their day off. Believe me, it's no easy task to bring in their collections. Many of these vinyl boxes weigh about 30 to 50 pounds each. Hi, admission is three dollars and all the proceeds benefit the San Clemente High School Music Department. There are usually about 13 to 16 vendors that assemble at this location, the RPM Record Show. I'll put the link to the website in the description. You can always find your fill of new and used records in just about any genre. If you are in search of a specific piece of wax, just ask. Many of the vendors know what's in their supply, but you know, it's always cool to stay and dig around. Who knows, you might just find that one record that got away when you were 12. What's your name and what store are you from? I'm Dave from Factory Records in Costa Mesa. Awesome. How long have you been into your vinyl? Uh, I've been selling vinyl for 31 years. Uh, I've been almost 10 years at Factory Records. Why records? What's the appeal to records? It's what I grew up on. It's just what I know. When I was 10 years old, I had a paper route. So on Saturdays and Sundays, I could get to the garage sales before everybody else. And I just started buying records and have parlayed it into a 31-year career. What's your favorite record? It depends on the day. It's too hard to say. <laughs> What's your name and what store are you from? Tom from uh, Media Blitz. How long have you been into uh, vinyl, Tom? For 25 years. Since high school. White records? Uh, there's all sorts of weird, crazy stuff not available on CD and that you'll never hear in a million years until you track it down on some weird 45. What's your favorite record? The first Velvet Underground record. The, uh, just a great record. Where are you from? Uh, my name is Armin Lewis, and actually I don't have a store. We uh, do these record shows all over Southern California. How long have you been into vinyl? About 45 years, actually. I uh, started when I was a little kid. My mother used to drag me around to antique stores and uh, buy old records for a quarter apiece. And then uh, it just sort of blossomed from that. Why records? Why vinyl? Why not vinyl? I mean, vinyl is the, is the greatest uh, medium for playing records, playing music uh, that's ever been created. Does it sound different on vinyl versus like streaming or on, or on a CD? Oh yeah. What do you think? Yeah. If you ever compare a good quality vinyl LP to a stream or even a CD, you will hear the difference because all digital audio is compressed, and what that means is that part of it is left out. So your computer can sample and, and re recreate the sound that's supposed to be between the digital bits. You don't have that issue with vinyl, so you get a much better sound. What's your favorite record? Uh, my favorite record is generally what I've been listening to for the last week, but that's going to change every week. Long term, I'm a, hu a huge jazz fan, and I like the classic jazz of Blue Note Records and Verve Records from the 50s and 60s. Probably my favorite Blue Note album maybe would be Art Blakey, Monin, came out about 1959. That's a record that if you play it once, it's gonna get into your bones and you can't get it out. You will play it five million times. We definitely recommend spending a few hours checking out all of what each vendor has to offer. Just make sure you pay each one directly before you move on to the next. Now let's meet the man himself, the guy in charge of the RPM Record Show. Uh, my name's Tom Rule, and I am the owner of Moldy Toes Records in San Clemente. I um, started listening to records when I was probably in the sixth grade and started off with 
45s, um, then slowly got drug into vinyl, uh, full length albums. My first record I bought was Abbey Road by the Beatles when I was about 13 years old. I worked at Tower Records. Well, I started working in record shops in San Juan Capistrano, a shop called Condor Records. Um, that was in the mid 70s. Then I moved on to Tower in 1979 and left them in 99. And then we opened Moldy Toes up in 2014 and have been going strong for five years now. Moldy Toes is located at 217 South El Camino Real, right across the street from the world famous Red Fox Lounge where you can get a martini at 6 a.m. Uh, vinyl sounds so much better than streaming. So I've always loved records. You can hold them in your hand. You can read the liner notes without a magnifying glass. Um, and when you put a record on, you're gonna listen to it. You're not gonna hit fast forward. Record shows, I think, have a big misconception of people that don't know anything about them. Um, it's not like the car show on Del Mar where you go and look at a bunch of cars at a record show. You can actually walk out with records. People are here to sell them. This show right now has three record shops in it and about 10 people that do this as a hobby backslash living. And so there's just a wide variety of stuff. It's like having 10 or 12 record stores under one roof. Uh, this is a, a benefit for the music department at San Clemente High School. I started doing fundraising for the music department several years ago when my son was in marching band. It was a Friday night and he was home and I asked him why he wasn't at the game and he said it was an away game and they didn't have money for the bus and I couldn't believe it. So that's, that's when I started doing this when my kids were going to school here to help them out and so they could afford to get a bus and go to away games. My name is Olivia. Hi, and I'm Adam. And we came to the record show because we love buying records and CDs, and it's a great way to support the music program. I got a Let It Be by The Beatles, and I also got the Beatles Love album on CD. Which I enjoy listening to. And we got Taylor Swift's debut album. These are all used and sure that one's not brand new? Mm, no, okay. I don't think so. Just checking. <laughs> In your opinion, what's the appeal to listening to records? I think it's just great to keep the classics going and I personally love holding the physical records in my hand and getting to read all the booklets inside of them and that's just something you don't get with streaming nowadays. So my name is Gerald Beaulieu um, and uh, my son Andrew here. So we came here, Andrew is a big collector. I'm a long time uh, collector of albums when I was a kid. Uh, kept my love of uh, classic rock and roll, got him into it as a young age. And uh, since then he's embraced it a lot more than I ever did. So he's, he's the true collector now, uh, more of a hobbyist uh, than anything, so. I got the best of bread. Woodstock soundtrack, Imagine, Electric Light Orchestra 3, uh, Soft Parade, a few 45s. I got a Billy Joel Grateful over Dead. there, an old Jimmy Buffett album, which I always like. Actually, this Grateful Dead one is... Uh, that's mine. <laughs> that's Andrew's. I got... Uh, which one uh, is this one? one that's, yours. This is mine here. The Doors. Here's it over here. Um, oh, there's one I got to show you. It's kind of funny because I remember this as a kid. So we had 45s as a kid, for those people who don't know what a 45 is. Why are they so small? I know, exactly, huh? <laughs> Different, different speed. So this Super Tramp album, I had this 45 as a kid, and I listened to it endlessly. Uh, the logical song. So uh, when I saw that, I had to get it again. I just like it because it's like old. Sometimes the sound is a little bit warmer and more detailed than uh, like MP3. Like I've noticed some sounds that are in records that aren't in MP3 music. So yeah, he's, he probably picks up more on the tones. I might have as a kid. For me, it's more nostalgic than anything. Um, just listening to the crackle, and uh, and I just think it's cool that my son's doing it. Cool. I'm Phil, Sophia, and I'm Luca. We're here for some great nostalgic music that you can't just go down to your local store and find. And, <laughs> and it's a good time for a Saturday morning just to hang out and uh, reminisce a little bit. Yeah. Beautiful. What'd you guys get? Uh. Got oh, they sell CDs here too, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Talking Heads, The Beat, 
Yes, Duran Duran, and old. even and uh, Gorilla's vinyl. Yes, let's see that here. And this is a brand new one. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I just think it's nostalgic because I uh, I make cassette tapes and it's just kind of fun to listen to it. It doesn't have the same like. It's not as good as listening to it on like a phone where it's just perfect and it sounds all good. But you have like what it used to sound like and I think it just sounds like cooler. Alright guys, we hope you enjoyed our spotlight on the RPM Record Show. I'll put the link in the description so you don't miss the next one. As always, thanks for watching and make sure you hit that subscribe button for more adventures. Until next time, bye bye